What's going on YouTube? This is The Natural and this week on 5 Deep we are doing rant week. Some of us are gonna do excited rants. Yay! And others are gonna do angry rants. Err. Me, I'm doing one that kind of combines the two. I was thinking about my childhood and some of the things that I miss from it. When you miss something or someone, it seems like a really sad thing on the surface because those are things that you'll never be able to get back and you'll never be able to experience again. But at the same time, it's a beautiful feeling to just tap into a little memory bank of yours, go through that nostalgic time, reliving all those beautiful feelings you used to have. So today, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a list of some of the things that I miss most from my childhood. So let's get into it. One thing I really miss from my childhood, that rush and that excitement that I used to get when I would get something in the mail. I remember as a kid, one of my favorite things to do was when I would see the mailman coming up the driveway, I would run to my door and I would want to get the mail from him because I felt like I was doing something important, like I was special, you know. I, I would go through the mail and it was my dad, my mom, my dad, my mom, my dad, and then finally I'd get to that one letter that had Josh Santos on it. I would get so excited because this was a rare occasion. Now the only the only time I ever really got mail as a kid was either from ESPN, Sports Illustrated, Inside Stuff, and it was like the highlight of my day. I'd open them up, I'd rip out all the Kobe Bryant posters, Kevin Garnett, Vince Carter, and I'd go put them up on my wall. It was the funniest thing because on a Sports Illustrated one, it used to say Jash Santos on it. They misspelled my name and I was so pissed off about that. I used to write them letters and write them back and try to get my name corrected and they never do it. But it's all good because you know I still got some in the mail today like a boss. So yeah, that was one of my favorite things as a kid. Just, just being super excited about getting something in the mail. Another thing that I really missed from my childhood was, was lying about my age. I know that sounds funny, but it's going to come a time in your life where you're going to go to buy something that requires ID and they're not going to ask you for it. At first, that might seem kind of cool that they didn't ID you, but then you're going to realize, shit, that means I look old. Back in the day, if you had to lie about your age, it was always for the same reason. Now me and my family, we used to love going out together. We would go to, you know, Dodger games, to the movies, to, to hometown buffet. And at all these places, they had one thing in common. They always had a child discount. For me, that was the greatest thing in the world because I was getting permission from my parents to lie. Like, think about how badass that is. Like, I used to get spanked and, you know, grounded for lying, but now they're gonna let me lie so they, they could get a discount. I remember one time though at the Dodger game, uh, you know, my parents were like, oh yeah, he's five. And I was like, no, I'm not. I, I, I'm seven, mom. And my mom's like, shut up, Josh. You know, she got super embarrassed, but I think we still got the discount on it anyways, because, you know, what are they going to tell me, huh? Another thing that I really miss was having a roommate. Me personally, I have a brother who's seven years older than me, and that was like the coolest thing in the world to share a room with him for a number of reasons. First one is I used to love hearing him talk on the phone. He had this one thing that he would do. He'd be talking on the phone and he just pulled it away from his ear for a second. Go to doing something else, and he'd come back and just be like, uh-huh, oh yeah, 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 of course, baby, of course. He'd pull it away again, and he'd, he'd go do something else, and then he'd put it back like, oh yeah, 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 I was listening, baby. And it was so crazy to me, like my mind was boggled, because I was just like, but, but, but how does he know what she's saying? But what if she asks him a question? What's he gonna answer? On top of that, going to sleep at night was so much funner when you had a roommate. My brother used to give me a lot of nicknames, like my name is Josh, and then, Josh became Joshi, and then Joshi became Tashi, and then Tashi became Tashi Ball, and then Tashi Ball became TBD. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't ask, I, I don't know. So by the time it got to TBD, he then created a song out of it, and it basically used to like say Josh is a baby up in the sky, and it went a little something like this. TBD, wish a baby up in the sky, up in the sky, TBD. Where's your baby? Way up the sky, way up the sky. I used to get so mad, I'd be like, first of all, I'm not a baby, I'm six. And secondly, I'm obviously not in the sky. That, that was one of my highlights as a kid, you know, sharing, sharing a room with my brothers, so that was pretty dope. And more than anything, the one thing that I miss most from my childhood is just making new neighborhood friends. The dope thing about that is we would come up with a different game like every day. We would get super imaginative. One day we would just be playing Pogs, the next day we'd play hide and seek, next day we'd be getting bow and arrows and swords and pretending we're the Power Rangers. I remember that was always fun because nobody would ever want to be the pink or the yellow one, but I was like the eight-year-old, so I always get stuck with the bow and arrow, which, you know, in the long run was pretty cool too because I get to shoot people 
people, but that was just the coolest thing ever because I was always like the young one on my block. When you're a kid, you think everybody older than you is just so cool. So everything they did, I used to pick up on and I used to go to school and then I used to tell my friends what like the 12, 13 year olds were doing and then I'd look like the cool one and that was just so dope. And Ah oh, man, I just really miss those times, you know? So yeah, with that said, you know, if you enjoyed this video, I want you guys to go ahead and click that thumbs up button. I also want some five deep participation. I want you guys to leave a comment down below with the one thing that you miss most from your childhood. Something that you can't really do now as an adult or as a teenager or whatever you are. Last week we did over 700 comments in the first day. Let's go ahead and see if we can top that, y'all. It's the natural five deep. We love y'all. Peace. And you gon' be my number one fan when my song plays Then be that comfort I need from a long day These other dudes complain that their girls ain't sublime So I'm telling them they do it the wrong way Now baby if you wanna we can travel all around the globe